Hello, my darlings. Thank you for tuning into the Seasonal Pages podcast, where listeners like yourself can hear about content such as books, writing, and more. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Today, we will be speaking on how and why to find a pen pal. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me, how do I find pen pals? And also, what type of pen pals do I have? I've heard everything from, oh, are the people, or people that you know, are there people that are different circumstances than you? And pretty much, have you ever had a pen pal that you have written to for years? And so I just want you to sit back and enjoy my episode talking about pen pal friendships. Now, I'm one of those people that have always loved writing. I'm pretty sure you have loved writing too since you're listening into this episode. Writing has been one of those things that is therapeutic for me as well as a way for me to connect to different people around the world, whether they be locally or nationally. So I pretty much have been writing since I was a child. I was at first writing to friends and family, and then it progressed over to pen pals that were in different parts of the world that I wasn't familiar with. And this pretty much came about because of a website that I used. and. I stayed with that for a few years and then went back into letter writing, like physical letter writing, but it still remained just friends and family. Now, 10 years later, I'm pretty much like, let's just say like 23, I decide to go onto Instagram and Instagram pretty much is that social media where you can pretty much meet anyone um, based off hashtags. So that's how I went down the deep rabbit hole of finding pen pal relationships. So that is my first tip for you. If you are looking for pen pals, definitely check out Instagram hashtags such as pen pals want it, pen pals need it, pen pal community, pen pals around the world. These hashtags have definitely helped me find a lot of different pen pals. I will admit, I did not know that the pen pal world was this huge. Like I said, for me, it was mostly friends and family. But once I got into Instagram, I pretty much realized there are a lot of people that love to write other people. So I'm not alone. You're not alone if you want to write people and get to know people through writing letters. Writing is one of those things where not only is it therapeutic for me, But it also gives you pretty much like a sensation of vintage communication. I'm one of those people where texting and emails is just not enough for me. I really enjoy just writing things out on paper. And that goes for writing lists, um, writing in a journal. I'm just a big writer. So for me, pen pal relationships were just a great way to communicate with the world, especially through writing. So hashtags are the first thing that I think you should definitely check out. And of course, be careful with who you speak to and are comfortable with and pretty much make sure that you're on the same page with the person that you're speaking with. And also don't give out as much information that you really don't want to give out. That's something that I definitely want to recommend to anyone starting pen pal relationships. But overall, pen pal relationships can be a lot of fun. And you get a chance to write out your thoughts and pretty much feel like you're in one of those different time frames where, hey, I have to wait until I get a letter in the mail to communicate with the person. It's fun for me and I highly recommend it for others that enjoy talking to others that way as well. So the next thing that I would recommend would be finding pen pal clubs. Now, I did not know this was a thing either until I got into the pen pal world. And pretty much just by a simple Google search, I was able to find 
quite a few pen pal clubs. And basically, pen pal clubs are a way for you to join a club and connect with people that are strictly into pen paling and pretty much connect from there if you don't want to do the hashtag route. So there are pen pal clubs such as Geek Girl Pen Pals, Humble Bee and Co., Post Crossing, Pen Pal World, Interpals, and so many more that I'm pretty sure I will find over time. So this is something that I recommend to you as well because you get a chance to definitely narrow down the different pen pal people that you might want to speak to. Also, these are profiles. So you get a chance to kind of see like where they're located. I think it's a little bit more detailed than the pen pal hashtags. If you And you get a chance to kind of like have someone help you find a pen pal because some of these clubs also, they would do all the work for you. You just pretty much tell them, hey, this is the type of person that I'm looking for and they can connect you to someone too. Each one of these clubs are different in the way they do things, but overall it's just a even more safer way to kind of find a new pen pal. Now, the next recommendation that I give you is to pen pal with a soldier. So I know that some people love the fact that they get a, get a chance to connect with people that are out there doing different things for the community. So what I recommend are a few websites that I personally found, such as America's Adopt a Soldier, Soldier Angels, and Adopt a Platoon. And these three different websites are pretty much the three that I found constant with people going to. I'm pretty sure it's more out there, but overall, I think that these are three great websites that a lot of people go to. Now, this next advice that I give you is something that I did in the past. And so I had to mention it because, I mean, it's an easier way for you to get a pen pal. You can ask old friends that you haven't spoken to in a while. So maybe it's friends that you knew in high school or college or pretty much met at a different event, but you kept in touch through like social media, but you really don't talk that often. You can reach out to them and say, hey, why not just write each other letters so that way it's not as much pressure. We could pretty much decide, hey, do we want to still talk to each other? And this is the way for us to connect and just be excited to get mail and not have bills always be in the mail, but see a letter from someone as long distance. Or you can do the same thing with family members. You know, it might be family members that are in a different part of the world or pretty much like don't really get into social media or want to talk on the phone all the time. You can reach out to them and say, hey, why don't we go ahead and just be pen pals? So that's something that I definitely recommend. And it's something that's a lot quicker to kind of navigate when it comes to getting a pen pal because it's like you already connected with that person, you're kind of familiar with them. And so it won't be as, I guess, like taking a little bit of time to kind of see like, are we really going to be good pen pals just through a few little emails, basically like through social media, you can kind of get more of a gist of things with friends and family that's quicker. And something that I, that's what I kind of started off with myself and then progressed over to meeting different people, like I said, through social media, which is a lot of fun as well. Now, the next advice that I would give you is reaching out to nursing homes and pen paling a senior. So this is something that I see all the time recommended on social media as well. Sometimes these different nursing homes on the social media will like take photos of the singers that are looking for pen pals. And so they'll share, hey, this person's looking for a pen pal. And then they'll write out like a certain type of address and like the person's name and say like send in, you know, letters or cards. And that's how you gain a pen pal. Or you can go through different websites such as Village Concepts, Reach Out America or Victorian Secret Center. These particular places also have it where you can send in the same concept, your name, a short little letter. And they'll connect you with someone that is pretty much someone they think you will be great with to be a pen pal. I think it's fun to have a pen pal with a singer because you get a chance to not only make someone else happy, but also just gain a new friendship through someone that is living in a nursing home and pretty much get a chance to be excited as well to have a letter from someone that's not their family member. So that's something that I think is really cool. Also, something that I recently found out because I recently got into this particular um, platform called Reddit. So Reddit also has a section for pen pals. 
And pretty much you can go there and try to like reach out to different people. Or people will post different things in the forums and you can see if you connect that way. I've heard that different people with these forums, they'll either choose, you know, to do like email pen paling or also do like written letters pen paling. It just all depends on what type of person you meet. So that's something that's cool as well. And I think that you would really enjoy. The last thing that I wanted to mention about finding pen pals would be joining Facebook groups such as Worldwide Snail Mail Pen Pals or Pen Pals from all around the world. It's different types of pen pal communities on Facebook. So I highly recommend checking those out as well because you get a chance to also connect with different people through Facebook since most of us have Facebook already. One thing that I think is really nice about pen paling is that you get the chance to do different types of pen paling, such as email writing or physical letter writing, or also sometimes um, people do like audio message pen paling. You know, it's it's literally all types of pen pal relationships. I personally stick with the letter writing because I just enjoy the letter writing, but you might enjoy emailing. You might enjoy doing something as far as just checking in with people on social media. Everyone has their own style of pen paling, but I just wanted to give you a, a pretty much a short list on ways to find pen pals. Pen pals should also be a fun but safe relationship. So always make sure to be safe, only give out information you're comfortable with, and also is pretty much be open and honest about what you're looking for when it comes to a pen pal relationship. And it's okay if sometimes you don't connect with certain people once you start writing letters, and then you can just end those relationships and pretty much tell the person, you know, I'm okay with not messaging you back if you feel comfortable enough to do that. Pretty much, I think that pen pal relationships can be something that can be lifelong and you can gain a lot of friendships through writing letters. I have been doing letter writing since I was a child and I continue to want to write people as I get older. And I think it's a very cool way to communicate, especially when you get into decorating letters and pretty much telling people about your day or your life or an event you went through recently. This is why I recommend pen pal relationships. So of course, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of the Seasonal Pages podcast. If you are looking for anything with pen pals, definitely check out my Instagram as well because I have a section for people to connect with other people. I also have a blog post that you can enjoy as well if you prefer to have a list set up for you and not just have the audio version of the list. Also, you can check out my printable stationery section that will give you a lot of different options for you to utilize to send off letters to pen pals if you decide to do so. So visit theseasonalpages.com to find everything you need as far as pen paling goes. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of the Seasonal Pages podcast. I look forward to talking more with you in the future.